Cause yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. So I am outside taking advantage of the fact that it is not raining today. It has been raining every day, feels like anyway. Um, Welcome to the channel. If you are new, if you are returning, thank you for coming back. I appreciate it so much. I feel like once I stand up, you're gonna lose me. So how have y'all been? It's a little chilly out here, so I have a jacket on, but the sun is out and that is all that matters because I'm gonna go walking because I haven't done my workout yet. I have on my workout pants. You probably can't see them. <laughs> Bam! Okay, <laughs> let me stop acting silly. So I'm finally getting around to potting these and I decided they are growing so good in this that I'm just gonna take the black container that's inside because it's a black container in here and i'm going to take it out and i'm going to add the soil back into this container because this is pretty and they, they love it so that's all i'm going to do so you're here to join me on the journey and i forgot to say it's too late <laughs> I'm so silly y'all don't pay me no attention <sighs> so I didn't want to make this mess inside so I said what better place to make the mess than outside now I don't know how I'm gonna do this y'all because I should have did this when they were this size now these are taking forever to come up I fed them and everything but these are slow growers and they are different kinds because I don't know why they have marigold the tag inside the tulip thing but that's what they did um, but I'm assuming that it's gonna be a red flowering tulip which is um, this is the red and white and this one these are the pink and they just started blooming yesterday and today so i'm going to leave these two in there and hopefully those two will start to do what they need to do i bring them outside for about six hours of sunlight because that's what it says on the instructions and I don't want to break up my stuff. So, oh, I probably should show you what I'm doing, huh? Let's go down. It's going down. Okay, so I need to get this out. See that black pot right there? And I'm just going to put them in here. And it already has, they already have the holes in here. You can see that. There is one here, here, here. They don't have one in the center though. Maybe I should put one in the center, y'all. One hole here on the side, which is diagonal, 45 degree from a hole on the bottom. That way, if this gets stopped up, because some of these were stopped up with the soil, I just knocked soil out of that one and that one. That is why you put your holes on the side also. Okay, so all I'm doing, y'all, put some of my soil mixture that I have together. And it just has like some vermiculite and perlite in it. I'm just gonna add two to the bottom. I'm not a tulip expert, so I've not done tulips before, but I'm loosening up, if you're wondering. I'm squeezing to loosen up so it'll come out without me hopefully damaging it. I'm clumsy, y'all. 
This hand right here is the hand that I have to have surgery on because of the severe um, carpal tunnel. So it's really hard for me to grip and use my hand, but I do, I do what I can. I do what I can when I can, okay? We don't have any roots torn in there, maybe one. Let me show you this root system before I put them in. Ooh, look at that baby. They ready to spread out. Look at the bulbs. Let's just loosen it. Why not? Why not? Always think of you when spring comes. Like it's something in the air at that time. Don't know why. Always dream of you oh, when spring comes. I know y'all they might not want to be in here because they're not gonna be able to go in here oh that's so sad okay i thought i was gonna be able to do them in here but i'll do something else in here and we'll get something else for this i'm just gonna use this one right here and I put some little ones in here that I couldn't fit in those containers just to see what they do. And then in this container that I had for something else, I said, well, I'm gonna take the roots and just put them in here under the soil and just see if they will produce any tulips for me. That's just an experiment that I'm doing personally. So y'all know my husband gave me four containers of tulips. The two brown ones that say welcome and then he gave me um, two more in different containers. And out of all of those tulips, it was just four containers y'all. I now have seven containers that are filled with beautiful tulips and it is the gift 
that seems to be <laughs> keeps on giving I just got through putting them repotting them um, and they look wonderful also they started sprouting little ones like those right there so y'all go ahead and sow something so you can grow something have a blessed day remember i love you but god loves you more but everything is Thank y'all for joining me here on Tommy Bikes TV. Let me show you what I got going on. So we have over here, this one just in a regular black container. I did manage to put them in here after all. So I'm happy about that. We have these over here. And then these I'm going to take out and repot them in the same pot. But I'm just going to, I think it might be too many in here. It might be stunting their growth. And then this one right here that I just did. So that's it, y'all. So y'all have a good day. Bye. Feel the way